Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Lord Phantom Breeds Creepy Pastas. Today, it is October seventh, twenty twenty-one. So this month, I'm going to be reading six creepy pastas. Yeah, I know I was supposed to. Read a few creepy pastas in August and September, but school caught up with me. So, yeah, this is Veggie Tales, nineteen ninety four, and this one is its worst. Is the worst thing I have ever wrote, I have ever seen. So let's get on with the story, shall we? So this is in the civil segment. So. Yeah. I, I, I really don't know what to say anymore. I cannot get this story out of my head. This, this, this demolished VHS tape really ruined my childhood. And it was disturbing. You guys know about the show Veggie Tales? It talks about God and how he is always there for us. One episode taught you that God is bigger than anything. It had good jokes and good humor. But I do not know what to say about this one lost episode from the show, so I want to get it out of my system by telling it to you guys. Here's the story. Hi, my name is Gabriel. I am a huge fan of Veggie Tales. I have all the DVDs, plushes, and even all merchandise. I always loved the show. The first Veggie Tales episode I watched was called Are You My Neighbor, which came out in 1995. It fought. It taught me to always love my neighbor. It even came with a silly song called the Hairbrush Song. I watched all the episodes except for one which was called God Wants Me to Forgive Them. But it turns out I got a demolished copy of the episode. Here's the story. Okay, we're going to... Stop here for a minute and see what we have here. In the second paragraph, no, first paragraph, there's grammar errors already. So that's a good start. Not. So I see that this story is going to go already downhill. So, let's continue. The VHS tape and how I got it. So it was a nice summer day. I was watching the VeggieTales episode, Rack, Shack, and Benny. Until something popped into my mind. I said to myself, I never watched God wants me to forgive them. Maybe buy it on eBay? So I went to my good old friend eBay. 
Then I searched up the episode. There were no other actual copies until I got to the bottom resolve. So I clicked on it and it and it read Veggie Tales God Veggie Tales God wants me to forgive them original tape totally new, totally original. Okay. Okay, buddy. You you're gonna get scammed. Because I'm sorry. My phone is acting up. So. Yeah, you're gonna get scammed. There was only one copy available and it cost $14.99 just for it. I said to myself, wow, why that much? Oh well, I never watched the, this episode anyway. So I clicked add a cart, then I bought it. After I clicked buy, it said, Your delivery will be in nine weeks. Thank you for your service. I said to myself, Nine weeks? What would I do in the next nine weeks? As a teen, I'm super impatient. So I just waited for my package to arrive. Really? A VHS tape does not take nine weeks. Well, it kind of depends on where you're from. But I didn't know that the USP or the Postal Service got so bad. Nine weeks later, my parents were going on a date all night. They said that they would be back tomorrow morning. Now I have a chance to watch the episode. As soon as they walked out the door, my package finally came. I asked the mailman politely what took so long. He said, budget cuts? Budget cuts. Then walked away and I yelled, What budget cuts? Um, the Postal Service has been. In this country, anyway. Has. Is notorious for that. So, you shouldn't be surprised. Thanks to the 90s. I got an old VHR player from my basement, then I plugged it in. I then opened up the VHS tape. It looked like it was in very bad condition. It looked like a cardboard box with a Google image of the original VHS tape that was glued on the cardboard box. I thought it got scammed, but there was actually a tape in there. Okay. I know you're a teenager, but you're... But how possibly can you be this fucking dumb? Even the teenagers I knew weren't this dumb. Well, I guess it's, that's the education system for you. Anyway, let's move on before I get... Before I rant. The weird stuff about the VHS tape. But the weird thing was that the print date of this tape was... February 8th, 1994, which was the day before the actual episode came. Came out, which was a day later. I said to myself, this might be a beta version of the episode. 
After that, I put the tape inside a VHR. The normal intro started for a few seconds. He'll buy the tomato said, Okay, Larry, it's time for the theme song. After he said that, the video went black for five seconds, then static. So I punched my VHR and it got it working. The theme song. was different also. It had the original 1993 theme audio with the 1994 visual. Okay. No comment until the end. The first segment. Anyway, the episode started with Bob and Larry standing on the on the counter with a sad face. Bob then said in a really sad voice, "Hi, kids, and welcome to Veggie Tales. And we have some bad stuff to tell you." Larry just stood there without making any funny. Jokes or comments, Bob then got a letter from the Weep Lopez family. He read it out loud, Dear Bob and Larry, I'm a mother of four sons. One of them is nine years old and he gets bullied a lot. Someone even called him a stupid little nerd. He was sad for weeks until one day he had enough of this. He went home crying, then went upstairs and locked his door. And then after five minutes, I went to his room. Then what I saw was horrific. It looks like he grabbed a rope and hung himself. I don't know what to do. He is dead. Can you help me? Signed, Maria Lopez. Bob said, well, I remember that time when Junior we got bullied by a bunch of grapes. Larry then said, well, just play the episode. Bob said, roll the film. Okay, this is a warning of times to come. This episode did not seem like Bob or Larry at all. The episode started with the Grapes of Wrath singing their theme song while driving a rusty old car. However, their theme song was different. They sang, We are the Grapes of Wrath. We'll make your child sad even until they're depressed. We are the Grapes of Wrath. We are some big boys who will bully your child until they kill themselves. The grapes of wrath. I said to myself, wow, those guys are jerks. Or those grapes are jerks. They then arrived at Junior's house. Junior was playing with a butterfly. One of the grapes then said, Hi, hey, Broccoli, what are you doing? Junior then said, I am asparagus, not Broccoli. Now, can you please leave me alone? The grapes then said, well, you look like Broccoli, you little five-year-old no one. Junior said in a breaking voice, but God made me special. I'm not a no one. The grapples... The grapes then said, Ha ha, you are now. As they laughed at Junior, I expected the grapes of laugh to say that Junior had cheese on his head or call him Bean Boy. But this, this is messed up. Okay, turn off the fucking video if you're so offended. It's that fucking simple for you. You're 
I know you're a teenager and all, but even a teenager knows when to turn something off. Junior's eyes then filled with tears, except that the tears were red. He ran inside his house, crying, Papa, Papa. Those jerks are bullying me. His father replied with, Ignore them. Junior said that wouldn't work as he ran into his bedroom crying. His crying was distorted and made it, which made it more disturbing. <sighs> they had a much better Veggie Tales episode for this. After that, he grabbed a rope from under his bed. He grabbed a stool, but then before he tied the rope, it showed flashbacks on him spending time with his family and having so much fun. I cried a little. Then after he tied... The rope, he said, every kid has a secret sauce which the world knows not, and oftentimes we call a child cold when he's only sad. He then put the, his neck through the rope and let it go. He hung himself. After that, his father was cooking mac and cheese. Then he was finished, so he yelled, Junior, lunch is ready. No reply, then he yelled again. Junior, your lunch is ready, in a disordered voice. I know this suicide, suicide's a serious thing. If written correctly, you could have an amazing story. But if written wrong, you seem like an insensitive asshole for it. Then his father went upstairs to his bedroom to see what was going on. He saw Junior hanging on a noose with a letter with his depression about his depression on a dusty deck. His father then read it and cried. He then cried while he was going downstairs. Then he went to his medicine cabinet, read a bottle of pills. He then said, "Losing your child is never a good thing. It is one of the worst things a person can experience in life." Though death happens a lot in life, it's still hard to deal with. Getting through to the loss of your child takes time, and everyone's journey to healing is unique. Everyone is different, and sometimes the journey can be seen more than we bear. Goodbye. He then opened the pills and put them all in his mouth. He then dropped to the floor and passed out. So horrible to see, especially for a Christian show. Mom Asparagus then came home at 9 o'clock p.m. at night and saw both Junior and Dad Asparagus dead. Then she buried them at a cemetery. Then she then it cuts to Bob to the characters gather around having a funeral. Then the episode ends. And it cuts to Bob saying, it's time to talk about what we learned today. But QWERTY was not working. And what we learned today, Psalm, was not playing. Bob then said, we have learned that depression can hurt us a lot, even until we kill ourselves. We also learned that bullying is a horrible thing to do. Bob and Larry just stood there without saying, God made you special. And he loves you very much. They just stood in the episode and they no credits, no nothing. <sighs> okay, this first segment sucked. Because you dealt with suicide.
I was glad, so glad it was over until another segment started. I said, no, no, no. I tried to pause, but I just wanted to see what happens. So I just let it play. The second segment was called Larry's Lagoon. It started with Bob and Larry on the ship with the asparagus explorers. And one of the asparagus explorers then said, entertain us now. Bob then said, okay. So he just played an entertaining song on the radio. Then one of the asparagus said, entertain us, na us now for real or else we'll kill you. Wow. That's nice to say to someone. This was very out of character for the Asparagus Explorers. Bob then jumped around his entertainment while Larry just stood there doing nothing. One of the asparagus said, That's it, as she got a kitchen knife and slipped Bob in half. His tomato juice was splattered everywhere. Larry then said, Why? The asparagus then just dried a boat. Larry then drove the boat, just like in the original episode. He crashed the boat into the rock. After they crashed, Bob's corpse just went underwater while Larry said, Oops. The asparagus then said, Why would you do that, you pickle? We'll never forgive you. We are stuck here forever, you idiot. Go leave now. Larry then said in a crying voice, If you want me to leave, we'll all leave. Goodbye. As he ran into the dark depths of the island, the cut to a title card saying nine hours later. It cut to where he's sitting on the sand. He said, he then said in a sad voice, what if nobody likes me anymore? I'm a nobody to anybody. I caused the, the, the ship crash. I caused everything. I had enough. He then grabbed a kitchen knife and he said, Suicide is our only release from this hell. He then sweat his phone and it showed his corpse. His head was cut from his body. And then it and then cuts to a title card that says, Ten hours later. And then cuts the asparagus trying to stay warm with a fire. They were thin as sticks since they did not eat for 19 hours. One of the asparagus then says, What are we going to eat? There's nothing to eat. One of the asparagus then said, Let's eat you as he bit the asparagus. He screamed in pain as it felt like he was getting stung by a bee in, their, in his eye. Then, some, then the asparagus said, Mmm, yummy. As he took a bite out of an asparagus, he then said, you guys taste good. And then cuts to a time card saying, 40 seconds later. As it showed all the corpses of the other asparagus that were eaten. He then found in a kitchen knife from the asparagus that killed Bob. Then said, when you have no friends, you just kill yourself until you're forgotten forever. As he killed himself. He then showed the corpses of all the vegetables who died while playing reverse piano music. Then a message popped up in Russian. 
which translates to suicide is our only release from this hell we can't recall or this just ended and it went to the main menu this is a VHS tape not a DVD I was so scared I threw the tape out the window the episode ruined my entire childhood. I couldn't sleep for weeks. Five weeks later, I decided to sign a, send an email to Big Idea, the company that, you know, makes Veggie Tales. Here's the email Big Idea responded with. To whom it concerns from Big Idea. Disturbing Veggie Tales 1999 VHS tape. We are sorry you experienced that. You have nothing... To do with something that's dis that disturbing or demented that you described to us, but we understand your worries, so throw off the tape and try to forget all about it. And remember, God loves you and, ma and He made you special. Okay. I told my parents, my and my other relatives, and my closest friends, but they did not believe me about the episode because I threw out the fucking tape from a window. So one day I was when I was watching the news on TV and there was a story about a kid named Josh Lopez who hung himself after getting bullied too much and the mother's name was Maria Lopez, which was very similar to the episode I watched. It really scared me. I already threw the tape out the window and I tried to forget about it because, you know, I should have not thrown a tape out of a window to forget and with. But it just would not come out of my mind. It was too disturbing and sad. I took the word and tried to forget about it for two weeks. But I could not do it. So I wanted to forget about it by going to Sky Zone. And while I was jumping on a trampoline, a note appeared out of nowhere and it read, God loves you and he made you special. Folks, this story fucking sucks. The grammar errors, the narrator punching a VHS chess player. My stories are better than this. Which we'll get to eventually down the road. So what do I give this shit? Fantastic story. For the suicide. And the stupid grammar errors. And, and having the impatience of a toddler, I guess. I'll give this story a... Uh, one out of ten. For its stupidity. So next time. For the next story. We will do our special creepypasta. Our special creepypasta. That was, which was supposed to be on the 27th of August. And you will not believe what it is. Yeah, you won't believe what it is. So, see you guys. In the next story. Because this is going to be two stories in one video. If I, if you don't get bored. So.